keeping warm in the winter is an absolute must. And of course, it starts with appropriate clothing. I've got nice warm socks on. I've actually got my long johns on under this. Picture that, I'll give you a second. If you haven't switched off from that image, then stick with me. Nice warm joggers, nice warm jumper, and a coat as well on top, just to keep the chill out. It's about seven, eight degrees today, so not the coldest it's ever been, but the wind is quite biting. But if you're not warm on the bank in the winter, you won't enjoy your session. So over the years, I've got better clothing to keep myself nice and warm. And one of those main things that a lot of you probably have are hot water bottles. The only issue with using those on the bank is that you always have to take a stove with you, a kettle. And if you're doing short day sessions like I am today, when I'm trying to travel as light as possible, it's a bit of a faff to bring that all along with me. So something that I always carry with me, mainly because of my job as well, but also keep my phone charged, is a power pack. So something that utilizes that and can keep me warm would be ideal. And that is where solar have hit the market with the first ever heated cushion for the angling market at least. So here is the solar hotspot. It comes in a dedicated bag, as you can see. So this is the size, very, very small. It could be used as a general purpose pillow if you like. Let's just keep it transported in nice and uh, easily. You've got a Velcro top, and then you pull it out, matching camo, so just put this to the side. Don't always have to use that bag. So here it is out of the bag, and as you can see, it folds out from the uh, size that was in the bag, folds out into, well, basically make it a little bit wider, more surface area. Now this is a heated pillow, as I mentioned, I put it out the right way, so this is called the hotspot, and it's heated because it's got elements in the top and bottom, or all over this, basically. Padded, so it's already nice and comfortable, so if you just wanted a general purpose cushion for all year round, then this can help you. When it gets into the uh, colder months like it is right now, this comes into its own. Now, I'm not just bringing this for the first ever time today. I've been using this for the last week or two. It arrived at my house a couple of weeks ago, and uh, obviously gave it a first try at home. So if I just open up this pocket on the back here, a little Velcro pocket, which has a lead in there. So a nice heavy duty lead. It's not gonna kink or get damaged too easy. Obviously you've got to be careful with it. You don't want to break it. And then Velcro that back up. So you've got the lead attached already to the uh, pillow itself. Now I've used this, as I said, at home, just plugged it into my power bank, I gave it a little try. Uh, and then my missus stole it, so she's enjoyed using this at home as well. Because she's always cold. Women seem to always be cold, so if I don't put the heating on, she's nabbed this and sat on it for a bit. I'll put it on her lower back, and it's kept her nice and warm. Not the only lady in my household that has enjoyed this, because as you can see from some of these shots, my cat took a liking to it, and when I plugged it in, she uh, didn't leave this for quite a long time. So uh, it's a hit at home. It's not just a bankside item. And talking of not just being bankside, I've used this in the car a few times. Now, I do suffer with uh, quite a bad back, my lower back in particular, and my seat, as nice as it is, and my car, sorry, my car, as nice as it is, doesn't have heated seats. So for those of you that don't have heated seats in your car, this could be a good option, because you can take this fishing with you, plug it into your car because a lot of cars have USB ports now and if you don't you've got the cigarette lighter with uh, USB ports now to use as well. So plug that in, lower back and it made it nice and comfortable. On the way home from cold sessions or just long journeys so I want to keep my lower back a bit warmer to uh, stop them from seizing up. This was ideal so I have used it a few times there but that th does then bring me on to using it on the bank of course which is what most of you are going to use it for. I've used it on a couple of day sessions just sitting on it putting on my lower back and uh, it's been lovely, it takes the edge off things, but I've also used this last week, I was on the bank filming overnight, and it got down to probably only two or three degrees, so not stupid cold, but still cold enough that you need a hot water bottle to keep yourself nice and warm on the bank. And I still took my hot water bottle, I always put one at my feet, and I normally have a second one if it's really cold, chest sort of area. I only used the one hot water bottle on my feet, and this one I put on my lower back and sort of shoulder area, kept moving it around. I ended up doing away with the hot water bottle because this was so nice and, uh, well, warming, which is exactly what it needs to do. So it's, I'll, I'll get onto how it actually works, obviously. Plug it into uh, your power pack. Now, it's a work on any power bank that lets out power. As you just saw, you just cycle through the colors on the button. Press and hold it now, and it will come up red. So red is its warmest setting. Give it a couple of minutes to actually warm up. It's not an instant thing. So if you want to use this in your bed chair, maybe, what I've done the other day is I turned this on, stuck it under my bed chair for five, 10 minutes while I was sorting everything else out, doing my teeth and that before going to bed. When I got in, it was already nice and toasty and I had this at my lower back and it was lovely and warm. So that's on its warmest setting on red. Press it again, you get blue, so that's its medium setting and then green for its lower setting. So if you just want some really subtle heat to take the edge of things and use less power, of course, than the green. But if you're anything like me, if you get something that has multiple settings, I always use it on its highest setting. So I kept it on red all of last week, whether it's in the day, sat on my chair, taking the edge off, and also tuck it into my uh, jacket. It does fit around in my jacket. It's a bit cumbersome, but uh, it's easier to have this in my under my coat or on my back than a hot water bottle. So I used it like that, put my power pack in my pocket. So I was walking around with a, 
basically a, a padded lower back with heating elements built into it and it's very nice. Now the reason I'm saying about all the times I've used it is because I used it all on one charge of my power bank and when I got back from the session last week I still had half a battery power on this. Now it may sound like it used a lot of power for this power bank but it's very very impressive. I had it on I'd say 70% of the time while I was fishing and uh, when I had it in the bed chair I had it on for several hours as well didn't uh, drain the battery. I was charging my phone off this as well and that's what I was worried about. I really wanted to test how much power this thing uses. Now it's on at the moment and I'm already just starting to feel the uh, elements starting to heat up already. So it takes about a minute or so to get the full effect of the uh, full power. But yeah, that's the main thing I was very impressed with was how little power it actually used. I was expecting it to gobble it um, and it didn't. So very, very impressive. It kept me nice and warm. As I said, I did away with the hot water bottle in my sleeping bag in the end and I actually fell asleep with this on. I woke up middle of the night because I needed to have a weigh, it always happens this time of year, and I was very, very warm. And uh, it was just nice to know this was still keeping me nice and warm. I checked my power bank, and again, it barely taken any of the juice out of it. So if you wanted to keep this on all night long on a winter's overnighter, you can do so, use it all day. Rest assured that if you've got a power bank, decent power bank like this, and perhaps even smaller, you'll get away with using it non-stop all day, and maybe a couple of uh, nights on the bank if you don't use it all the time. Absolutely no issues with power. Now the material itself, nice and hard wearing, so it's easy to be chucked around, sat on a lot of course. The clothing we wear at fishing is quite heavy duty as well. It's not the, uh, we don't treat things the best on the bank, do we? So it's nice to know that the materials are nice and strong and not going to wear down at all. I've seen no signs of wear so far. I know I've only had it a couple of weeks, but uh, it's been nice and sturdy for me. Well, one little gripe is that the button where it's positioned you have to be very careful if you've got a big arse now i don't say i don't think i've got a particularly big arse if you don't sit on this in the, exactly the middle and you just lean onto this you may press the button so once or twice when i sat down on this i noticed i knocked it onto the blue setting or the green setting not the end of the world it was still on but if you want it on its maximum all the time just make sure that you are, are careful oh it's nice and warm now you are careful on there where you position it and i, I led on this in the in the night all night and once I positioned it on my lower back and had this right to my side I didn't have any issues with it turning off then and then I moved up to my shoulders as well to give my shoulders and uh, my neck area some warmth in the night and uh, it was spot on it didn't turn off but that is one thing to be aware of that you may sit on it like that and when it comes to using it in a bed chair maybe waffling but this is a real world use of this item hopefully I can keep hold of it because it's very nice um, Lower back is an area that doesn't matter what bed chair I've ever owned or what I do to keep my stuff warm in a bed chair, I put a hot water bottle at my feet or whatever. I find that my lower back still gets a chill every now and then, but where there's just the cold air coming up through the bed chair, that's the one area that every now and then you get a little chill there. And if you do get a chill, you find the whole rest of your body gets really cold quite quickly. So by having this on my lower back, unlike a hot water bottle, which is a bit too much of a lump and a bit awkward, this was nice and low profile, so it didn't feel like I was my back was arched. Took that chill away from my lower back and was just, uh, yeah, did its job. So will it replace a hot water bottle? It's not as hot as a hot water bottle if you've just boiled the kettle or made one, but the difference between this and a hot water bottle is it doesn't cool down. As long as it's still plugged in, it'll keep that heat, retain that heat, and it's nice and low profile. So if you want to tuck it into your jacket, you can do so much easier than uh, a hot water bottle. So does it replace a hot water bottle? depends what you're going to use it for, where you're going to use it for. But for me, this is definitely going to be a must coming into the winter next year and for the rest of this winter because this in a pocket, this in my jacket at the back, lovely and toasty. And lastly, this comes in an RRP of $29.99. Now a quick look on Amazon for other USB heated pillows. There are a few about, some look pretty flimsy, some look like they're just not really up to the uh, task of being taken on the bank. So yes, there's alternatives to this, but not really for any different price. Similar pricing or maybe a bit more expensive. The slightly cheaper ones, like I said, I don't think would last on the bank. So this really is a very good item if you want to keep yourself warmer on the bank and uh, not really end up looking like the Michelin man by sticking more and more layers on. If you've got good clothing already, stick this underneath and it will take the edge off nicely. So for more information, please do head over to the Solar website. I hope you liked this video. It was informative. And if you're interested in getting one of these, I do highly recommend it. So uh, please like this video if you did and hit the bell icon if you haven't already so you don't miss any future uploads. Also follow us on all the social media platforms coming up on the bottom of your screen right now. That's it from me. Just watching and I'll see you again soon.